Hi everyone, welcome to Hero Life. Great to be with everyone. So we wanted to explore the topic that is very close to our hearts and especially related to Paul, who is a new dad or a new dad for the second time. And uh, we thought to just explore the idea of how to maintain a healthy nutritional plan during the chaos of having a newborn in your environment. So Paulie, Tell us a little bit about your experience about staying on point or any challenges that you're facing as you support a growing family plus a, a two-week-old son. Right. Well, it's been well, it's three weeks now, actually. Um, little Jude's killing it. Um, I guess I can take you back to the beginning of uh, three weeks ago when we found ourselves in, in hospital at... Uh, having having Jude and I'll be completely honest I almost it was a conscious uh, affair I, I set aside like two or three days where I knew Uber Eats was going to be on the menu because I was avoiding hospital food like the plague and uh, there was some absolutely magnificent eateries around uh, where we had uh, Jude you know we were in Fitzroy and they're just like that area is just known for some unbelievable food. I had these amazing bagels that were just mouth-watering, um, filled with all types of good things. Um, but after those two or three days, it was time to crack on and, and, and crack back down again. And um, when we eventually got back home, it really was a matter of just simplifying what food was going into um, into my body. Um, I was jokingly explaining this uh, to a, a new dad that has come on board with us. And, you know, he was talking about dropping his kids at daycare and then he found himself going home the same way and he seemed to always go past these golden arches. <laughs> and he always ended up going through the drive through of these golden arches because he always just happened to be hungry as he was driving past these golden arches. Well, I kind of find that I have like this, and I call it the in case, in case of emergency break glass meals. And, and these are the meals that I kind of have on cycle that I know are nutritious and are healthy for me, but they're really easy to, to make and easy to uh, provide to myself. So one is... A, um, a bag of frozen vegetables that I can stick in the microwave, um, put in a can of tuna on, and a tuna, tuna on, should I say, and boom, I've got a relatively nutritious meal that is good to go straight away. Another one might be a um, uh, some some yogurt that I put some uh, really good quality uh, collagen powder uh, that is then uh, you know topped up with some frozen berries. And these two meals, I mean, they can get me going through any kind of craving. I'll be honest, any kind of craving whatsoever. So my in case of emergency break glass meals are like my lifesaver. They really, really are. There's nothing that I feel like I am not getting from either of those meals. Sure, that's not, that's not to say that I'm not ever going to have a piece of uh, chocolate or, uh, you know, a burger from time to time. But, you know, nine times out of 10, they're going to hit the spot. So that's, a, that, that's something that I've really leaned on for these last three weeks, because sometimes, you know, I'm on really little sleep. And, you know, when you are on little sleep, your decision uh, making skills are not at their optimum. So knowing that you've got these options to lean on uh, can be a real tremendous um, source of support. What about you, Dan? Can you remember back, what is it, nine months now? <laughs> Uh, nearly 11, actually. 11. Um, so, I mean, we were in the lockdown situation, so we were at home a lot. And I guess one thing I remember is just the celebratory session that could have just remained for like one meal, you know, ended up stretching out to like many meals and many desserts and many whiskeys. And it's like without the inside was, was this all in one one day <laughs> this, is, this is going on for quite some time 
And, and, and what was great was just to catch myself in the act of like continuing on this path because it's so easy to build an unhealthy habit and it's really hard to activate a new habit. So uh, I'm always practicing, you know, building healthy habits and I have many cheeky habits like we all do. Um, but just seeing like I was kind of like letting that celebratory period just stretch out a bit too long. I too just caught myself and just, you know, all, all I had to do was just double down on my commitment. Also just reactivate my training program. So knowing I'm going to get up early and train means I'm less likely to overeat in the evening before over drink, over dessert, and, you know, just helps me just get back on track. And I think ultimately, like, there's, you know, I mean, what is balance? But that's a whole other topic. But ultimately, we just want to enjoy life and enjoy the moments where they need to be enjoyed and also find fulfillment in keeping it simple too. And I think that's the art of just uh, having your cake and eating it too. So to speak. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, you know, it, for me, it also circled back around to how am I going to be of great, greater service to this newborn child who is completely and utterly dependent on me and, and Nat, my wife, to be able to survive in this world, you know? I celebrated with uh, one night, I celebrated probably with one or two too many whiskeys to really think that I was kind of able to you know kind of do that 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 wake up in the middle of the night and I did it and I, I was you know there for, for Jude and I was like this is not good this is like I don't I did not feel like I was uh sound of mind to be able to really really give of myself completely and that that was a real big lesson for me I was like okay so it's clear that I just can't I can't do that anymore you know, it's just, just something I can't do because I'm not giving um, wholly of myself in this very moment. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to kind of turn a blind eye to some of these habits that we create, especially when they're not of most benefit to yourself or your family. So it's really powerful to expose yourself to yourself. And if that feels like a challenge, uh, let's have a chat and we can just unpack what's going on and help to find skillful solutions moment to moment, day to day. So you've just got a bit of a plan. Absolutely. And you know what, guys, it's not sometime in the future is the time to, to activate this. It's now, you know, if you've just had a child and you're feeling like you're just getting your bearings, it's, it's now. This is the most perfect time to be able to take action with your health because it's not going to get easier. Yeah, I love it. All right, Thanks, so everyone, if you want to know more, show notes have all the details of how to connect with us. Have a good one. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Paulie.